Hey guys, so today I'm playing Pokemon Go again and Okay, excuse you. Um, and I'm in, I'm going to be in this shopping mall called Stonebridge. And right now there's some event going on. Some band is playing cover songs or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna try not to get that in for copyright issues. Um, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of Pokestops around here. Oh, and oh, something just, the Ven and that just popped up on the lore. Let's get that real quick. Or not, I'll just miss. That's cool. And I'll miss again. And I get it. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Come on. Okay. Anyways, I'll get that later. Um, yeah, there's a gym at the PF Chang's here, which um, there's typically like a bunch of lore modules around the Pokestops Stops that are near it. And they're like, there's so many people around there. Um, only a few days after it released, I walked over here. I'm going out of focus again. Uh, come on, come on. Oh, there I am, wow. Um, I came over here and a Kadabra had appeared and I was in a group about of about 50 people running after this Kadabra. It was so surreal and then everyone was helping each other find a Pikachu. So yeah, this game has brought so many people together and the band is over there. So I'm gonna be walking away from that. This is very loud. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully hatch an egg or two. Um, ooh, there's an Eevee. And uh, maybe evolve some Pokemon because I have so many Pokemon that I need to evolve and I'm super excited to see how strong they get. Yeah, this place is so great because there's three Pokestops here and there's lures at them. There's a Bellsprout and Zubat. There's another one, another Pokestop there with another lore, and then all the way back there is the gym, which is in battle. And all of the Pokestops here have lures. How incredible is that? Huh. Wow, that is... This game is just insane. I love going to hubs like this, where there's so much to do. It's great. Yeah, here's the P.F. Chang's, and there's the horse, which is a Pokemon stop or Pokestop, and then there's all the people around here playing it. There were more last time I was here, but I guess the hype has died down. And if it'll focus, there's a blue gym right there, which I think is... Oh, people are beating them out, but right now they're too strong for my Pokemon to beat, but maybe once I level up a bit of them, I'll be able to take it. And then there's a couple Pokestops here, there's the giant horse, which is right there. And then there's the Eric Charles Rubin dedication plaque. It's not focusing. Oh well. Yeah, and they have two lore modules up here, and I have used one of the lucky eggs. So I'm gonna go and level up some of my Pokemon. Okay, actually before that, I just, someone beat them out of the gym, and I just claimed it for Red Team, along with a Slowbro and a Charmander. Look at the little Charmander, he's so cute. But yeah, there's my Pidgeot. I have actually decided that I'm gonna be a Pidgeot breeder, because I have four of them already, like decent levels, and I have like a couple more in the making, um, and I'm just gonna breed them all to station in gyms if I find them. <laughs> so yeah. It's gotten a little bit dark, but there's a light here that's shining for the big TV screen over there, but I was, I had just like stationed the Pidgeot in the gym here, and this woman walked by and she's like, what team are you on? And I'm like, red team, and then she asked me, she's like, good choice. She's like, that's my slow bro in the gym. And I'm like, oh, that's my Pidgeot. And she said, yeah, I was walking by, and I just saw that the gym opened up, so I snatched it real quick. I'm like, that's what I always do. So yeah, this game is bringing so many people together. It's incredible. There's just like 15 to 20 people around here just on their phones, sitting here, reaping the benefits of all the wars around here. It's amazing. Okay, the first Pokemon I'm gonna start out and evolve is this little Eevee here. It's the highest combat power Eevee that I have. And as you can see, I named it Pyro, which I'm sure if you've heard anything about this game, it's that um, if you name your Eevee Pyro, Rainer, or... I can't remember um, how to get Jolteon. It's after the Eevee brothers in that one episode of Pokemon in the Kanto region. I can't remember. I'm, I'm going to put it up subtitle somewhere. But yeah, I'm going to see if that's true. And I'm sure I've spelled it correctly. So I'm going to evolve him because I don't have a Flareon yet. There he goes. Yay. Oh, look at his little tail go. 
And let's see if it works. Oh, and it did work! Yay! Look at him! He's so fluffy! Aw, I'm so happy. I'm so glad that worked. And registered to Pokedex. Yeah, now I have all the evolutions so far. How strong is he? It's not showing me. Oh, he's pretty strong. He's almost as strong as my Vaporeon. That's great. So I'm gonna move on and... Uh, why not? I'm gonna evolve these other Eevees and I haven't named them anything because I don't care what they turn into. So let's see what they turn into. Ooh, yay, another Vaporeon. I wonder if it's stronger than the one I currently have. And... And it's floating. Ooh, almost there. That's really good. And... I can evolve one more Eevee. I'm gonna choose this one. Yeah, it is a Jolteon. I wonder if it just goes in order. Like in the Pokedex entries. Vaporeon, Jolteon, or Flareon. That might be the case. Why are my Jolteon so weak compared to the Vaporeon and my one Flareon? That's weird. I don't know if that's like... If that's just me. So I'm just gonna go down the line of the Pokedex entry numbers and evolve whichever ones I have ready to evolve and maybe power them up. So this will be a little power up evolving montage. Starting with, actually starting with my Pidgey. Let's see what I can, what power I can get him to. And I can evolve this Pidgeotto into a Pidgeot and he's already at combat power 515. Let's see if he's better than my strongest Pidgeot. Nine hundred twelve, that is better. Now let's evolve this Weedle. This is the strongest Weedle I've managed to find within the past few days. Which he wasn't that strong in the first place, but let's see if he ends up being a strong Beedrill. I love Beedrill. Let's see. Eh. He's only a little bit better than the other Beedrill I have. The thing I hate about Beedrill is that they're so weak. They're such cool Pokemon, but they're so weak. What is spawning? Ooh, a horsey. I like that. Let's see if I can catch this horsey. That is a strong horsey. All the ones that I've found are like combat power of 33, not 333. Oh, I thought I was going to miss it. Let's see if I can get it. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, pal. Yeah, I got him. Yay! I've only caught like three horses, so I'm nowhere near getting a Cedra. I'm going to evolve a couple Rattata next, because I've caught way too many in the past few days, and I have over 100 Rattata candy. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of Raticate that I'll probably never use. Oh well. It's fun evolving them anyways for the EXP. So now I have five okay Raticates. Probably won't keep them all. I think I can, yeah, I can evolve this Spiro. Ooh, that's a better Spiro than the one I previously had. That's good. Can I evolve the Nidoran? Ooh, this is what I've been waiting for. I've caught a lot of Nidoran females lately. And I don't have a Needle Queen yet, but I have a decently strong Nidoran female. And then I'm gonna evolve it to a Nidorina, and then a Needle Queen. So I'm really excited to see how strong it is. I hope it's my strongest.
Ooh, she's strong. I like her. I think I can evolve this. Yeah, I'm gonna evolve this Zubat into another Crobat. Just cuz. Ooh, look at that Golbat. Hey, stronger than my previous one. I like to wait until um, I have enough candy to evolve them all at once so I can get to the final evolution in case I end up getting like a bell sprout that's at a higher level than the weeping bell was. Decent Dodrio, stronger than the one I had. Three away, I'm three away from getting a star me. No. <laughs> Whoa, 9,000 XP! Yay, it crashed! That's great. I love it when my app crashes. This game is so broken! Ugh. And I leveled up! I'm level 19 now, though you can't see it. I got, like, some stuff. So, the lucky eggs, they really work. You just evolve a crap ton of Pokemon and then you get a crap ton of EXP. Yeah, level 19. Woo, and those are all my medals and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I leveled up my Pokemon, or powered up my Pokemon a bit. Um, especially my Needle Queen. I ran out of Stardust, I think, and um, I powered up my new Flareon, and uh, I powered up my Vaporeon a bit, so I ran out of the Eevee candy, and now I'm gonna challenge the Ziggy. And I couldn't even power up my weak Electabuzz because I haven't caught any more Electabuzz and I have no more Electabuzz candy. I think I hatched this guy from an egg, maybe. I don't remember. Um, but all he has is, um, I think, Thundershock and Thunder. And Thundershock does nothing, and he's dead. Oh well. There's the star of the show, Vaporeon. My Vaporeon, the other one doesn't count. Let's see if I can get him. These are just such tedious battles. They take forever, especially when you pit the same Pokemon against it. I didn't dodge it. I tried and I failed to dodge it. And there's my Pidgeot. I leveled him up a bit. Wow, he sucks. Just use Air Cutter. Do it. That sucked. Okay. Pidgeot is just there for show. <laughs> no wonder they get kicked out of gym battles so quick. They just suck. But I mean, when you catch like 50 Pidgeys every day, oh, there's my Needle Queen. And she's gonna die. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. What other attack do you have? Use it, please. Or not. That's fine. That's fine as well. Dodge. Dodge. I won. Yay. I win. I'm gonna heal up real quick. Use a couple revives on my dead friends. Bring them back to life. What a great song. Actually, I'll use Hyper Potion because I have more. And let's challenge them again. Round two. Let's take over this PF Chang's. Oh wow. Oh, and someone else is fighting with me. There's their Vaporeon in the background. Already giving me a major boost. And there's another person fighting more people fighting. Wow. There are four people fighting this gym at once. Okay. Great. I hope they weren't on yellow. Uh, let's put in Needle Queen. Yes! Look at it. The red gym in all of its glory. Yeah, I think that'll be all for this video, mainly because my phone's about to die and my uh, battery, my portable battery, is about to die as well because I didn't sufficiently charge it before I came here. Um, also, it's getting late. And for it, like, for the sun not being out and it only being like, what, 80 degrees? It is so humid, like, it's so sweaty and gross here. 
Um, but I mean, like, I had a fun time. I love hubs like this because in the game, there's, I, I think there's seven Pokestops here and a couple of them are like right next to each other. So you can just camp out there, people place the lore modules there and just sit there all day. And then of course there's the P.F. Chang's gym, which I love. Uh, my Needle Queen was there not even for like five minutes before um, she got kicked out. So yeah, like it's so funny seeing these gyms, especially in like really crowded public places like this because they're just constantly in battle and people are constantly kicking it out and like switching teams and it's just incredible to see how much of an impact this game has already had. Um, so yeah, uh, I think like I'm pretty happy with uh, my results of evolving the Pokemon results. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. I just, I got a, I got a good Flareon, which I'm happy about, and my Needle Queen. I love her, she's great, she's so strong. Um, so yeah, um, go Team Valor, as always. Red Team rules. Um, and I just, I love how this game is bringing so many people together. Cause I just, like I love having these little, just conversations with people that walk by, they're like, did you catch something good? And I'm like, no. Cause there are no good Pokemon here, there's only Zubats and Pidgeys and Weedles. Uh, but there was like a Goldeen, I think, and an Eevee and an Oddish, which they aren't great, but I need more of them so I can evolve them and get really strong evolutions of them. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. That'll tell me if you want to see more like this because I'm having so much fun with this game. It is so addicting and life-changing, honestly, because like I'm getting out of the house more. That's great. I don't do that enough. I really don't. Um, plus it's just fun to interact with people just passing by them. You see them on their phones and you see Pokemon Go and you're like, they're playing Pokemon Go. Like, like we're a part of this big family now and it's so beautiful. Oh, my arm is getting tired. I'm going to switch to this one, see if that'll work. Uh, um, anyways, leave a like if you'd like more. Comment below what team are you on? Uh, all my fellow Team Valor friends out there and my friendly rivals at Team Mystic and Instinct. <laughs> Comment down below what team you are. Um, because it's like, I love the team rivalry. It's so fun sometimes. Sometimes it gets vicious. Um, but yeah, and also subscribe to my channel as well if you'd like to see more videos like this. I'm definitely thinking about doing more in DC area. Maybe, maybe I'll go to different hubs like this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this possibly short video. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. Um, and there's the cover band again. So I'll end this off here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you want to see more. I've said this three times now. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!